what's going on guys so in this box is supposedly a used xbox one from gamestop and this is actually not the first used xbox one i've purchased from gamestop it's actually the second i'll throw a link up on the top of the screen if you want to go check out my other video but to, to say the least my other experience with the used xbox one from gamestop was was interesting and i'll leave it at that but let's go ahead and open this thing up so as you can see here on the side is where the packaging slip was or shipping label whatever you want to call it um tore that off and it's pretty pretty plain just a brown box no indication this from GameStop which is good sometimes companies nowadays will like plaster their info all over the box which makes it really enticing for people to steal stuff let's go ahead and see what's in here so first of all I guess I open this thing upside down and my first concern is that they didn't really use much packaging I guess they tried a little bit uh, but when I picked this thing up it was basically clanking around in the box as you can tell I mean look at this all this open space right here um, there's a little bit of brown paper on both sides holding it together, but you know, not much. So here's the packing slip that was in the box. It's actually not just a regular Xbox One, it's an Xbox One S Battlefield Edition, and it costs almost $200. I know it's a little bit expensive, but kind of doing it for the experience. It looks like a pretty cool console, so we'll see what's inside. Um, but as I was saying, I'm pretty concerned with how this packaging was. I mean, you could kind of, it was like shaking around Legos like on Christmas, where you shake the box and you can kind of hear it bouncing around. Um, I think that's about how it's going to be with this box right here. Oh yeah, like it's that's not a good sign when you can hear stuff sliding around in the official Xbox One S box. Yeah, that's, I hope the rest of this video goes better than I think it's going to be. Alright, so now that we've got the other box to the side, we got our Xbox One S box. Uh, doesn't even tell me whether it connects included or not. But it's supposed to include the console, the controller, HDMI cable, AC cable, and a free 38 day guarantee. I mean, that'd be pretty sad if it wasn't free, if you had to pay for that. Congratulations. Yeah. This is really concerning. I'm just <laughs> listening to all this stuff clank around while I'm looking at the sides of this box. Alright, so let's go ahead and actually tear this thing open and get to the good stuff. See what's actually inside. I'm gonna predict that the console is actually intact, but the I want to predict that the co controller is just kind of clanking around and uh, along with the accessories and you know I, I, I fully expect the controller to be broken, but I guess we'll see. So here we go. Ooh. All right. So first things first, we got this controller right here. So if we take a closer look at this, you can see it's kind of dirty, as usual with GameStop stuff. This thumbstick right here is pretty dirty. It looks very well worn <laughs> like somebody used these thumbsticks a lot um, but it is used and other than that it's not in bad condition uh, a little bit dusty and stuff you just gotta clean that off but the, the thumbsticks do look very well worn and the controller is turning on so that's a that's a good sign I guess let's go ahead and put that to the side and look at the rest of it so here is the AC power cord pretty straightforward and here is the HDMI cable pretty straightforward as well and then down here at the bottom of the box is what we really came here for. This is the console, and as you can already see from the camera, it looks pretty dang scratched up, and I'm like 95% sure that's from the controller that was just sitting on top of the console, you know, like rolling around. So let's go ahead and pull that out and see what it looks like. So here's the console, and as I just mentioned a few seconds ago, it's very scratched up. I guess a lot of it you can actually kind of just rub off, and it comes off, which is weird. Um, but it's still... I guess you can maybe rub it all off and it'd be in decent condition, but there's still some scuffs all over it. Same with this side. It's actually like a crumb in there. No, I don't know what that is. Let's take a look at the back. So the back seems to look fine. I'm not seeing any issues. I think this is the warranty sticker, so it doesn't look like it's been opened up or anything. Um, got all your ports, two HDMIs, uh, two USBs, some other stuff that I don't care about. And let's take a look at the other sides. So this side looks okay as well. And the front, ooh, what's going on here? Looks like somebody wiped their greasy fingers on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see that pretty well, but it looks like somebody was like eating some greasy fried food and just kind of wiped their fingers on it. I guess you can probably clean that off pretty easily, but that's a little odd. Buttons are clicky. And the other side looks good as well. All right, guys, so so far it's not too bad. I was a little sketched out about how the controller is just lying on top of the console and just sliding around. But let's go ahead and take it over to my TV and see if it actually turns on and works. Alright guys, so I got the console all plugged up now. Got the power here, 
HDMI here going out to my TV and I know some of you guys are probably going to tell me not to play my consoles on carpet and I don't. It's just a good place to show it off. Um, so let's go ahead and press the power button and make sure it actually turns on. Alright, that's a good sign. Makes our little startup noise. Unfortunately, I was hoping it would actually have a different startup noise since it's a special edition, but apparently not, you know. Uh, it's like a Call of Duty edition, so I figured maybe it'd have like a gunshot or something. But maybe that's a little too, uh, too far. So it appears to be turning on, preparing console. I'm not really sure what that's doing. I don't remember ever seeing that before on an Xbox. But I guess it's probably done it, I just haven't recognized it. In the meantime, let's we'll see if this controller actually connects. Yep, connects right up. And I guess we'll just wait now until this thing is done preparing. Alright guys, so it looks like it's done preparing. It's now telling me to press the A button, which I guess I'll do. I'll listen to you. And now it's going to do some other stuff that I don't care about. Let's see if we can just skip over all of it. Alright guys, so it forced me to connect to the internet. So I guess I'll come back after I'm done updating. Alright guys, so 30 minutes later after downloading a bunch of stuff and entering my account and all this other mess I didn't want to do, I finally got my Xbox on. And as you can see, it is working so far. The Wi-Fi's been working. I've been able to connect to stuff um, just because I had to log in and download an update and all that mess. Uh, so the final test today is to actually put a disk in and see if it works. So first I just want to make sure there's no disk in there. And then I have this other random game, Assassin's Creed Origins. I played this game for a while, um, but I never finished it. I don't really know why. I just didn't. Um, but we'll see if I can actually get it out of the case first. And we'll put it in and... Hopefully it'll at least give me the option to load so that we know if it works. It's probably going to tell me I need to download like 50 gigs of updates, but I really don't want to do that right now. I just want to see if it works. So let's see. Let's go to games and apps. Here we go. So it does look like it's recognizing it. It is going to work, but it's going to make me <laughs> install it first. There's no way around it, I guess. You just got to sit here and wait for it to install or download an update or whatever it's trying to do. And here it is, guys. 8 gigabytes needs an update, but I'm not updating it right now. Just wanted to see if it would work. But I guess the moral of the story, guys, is this Xbox does work. Got this used Xbox One S from GameStop. It's actually the Call of Duty. Some I don't even remember which Call of Duty it is, but Call of Duty Limited Edition, one terabyte, 200 bucks, um, which is I guess it's not terrible for a decent condition Xbox One S. I mean, you can buy a brand new Xbox One S for 200 bucks, but that's only 500 gigs. So I guess all things considered, it's not too bad of a deal as long as you get one in decent condition. Uh, this one turned out to be in pretty good condition, other than the random scuff marks on the top, which I think I can wipe off. And then the controller is unfortunately pretty worn out, like the, the thumbsticks are very well worn. Like this, whoever played this definitely played a lot of Call of Duty, uh, you can tell. So fortunately my used Xbox One experience went a little bit better this time with GameStop. Um, better than my first time, as I said earlier. And just to let you guys know, I actually ordered another used Xbox One from GameStop. I think it's the Forza Edition, if I remember correctly, but that already came in, and I'm going to be doing an unboxing of that one soon, and we'll see how GameStop treated that one. But thanks for watching this video, guys. Let me know down in the comments if you like these videos. Let me know what else you want me to buy from GameStop and open up. And yeah, thanks for watching, and hope you guys have a great day.